Hey, what's going on guys? I'm in the Citadel in Halifax. Part one of my journey is complete. 5,000 kilometers, 5,100 to Halifax. It's a pretty sweet feeling. There's two reasons I rode around the world. One was uh, to support outdoor school and raise money for the alumni fund. And another reason is because I love traveling and I love cycling and I thought this is a great idea to combine both of them and go on, a, go on a nice trip. Hey, what's going on guys? Day 13 on the road. And boy, has it been a crazy week. So I actually started my journey here in Saskatoon at my house. And so um, the criteria is 30,000 kilometers in the same direction. You gotta pass two anti-portal points and finish where you start. I've met uh, a few other like cycle tourists and I've rode like short distances with them. Day 18 here and I met another bike packer, Dominique. He's been on the road for five and a half months and has yeah. been to eight countries. Yeah. It's pretty amazing. And I am 66 years old. The majority of the trip I just had like a bike packing setup with very little in it. I don't know how amazing that feels after so many days out here in the desert to just put on a nice fresh clean pair of socks. I had like a, a set and a half of clothes, a Vivia mat, um, a sleeping bag, and I had like a multi-tool, some patches. So today I'm gonna look at my toolkit. The toolkit's pretty important when you're touring to have something to fix your bike when it breaks down. I got tubes, inner tubes here for flat tires. I also got a multi-tool so this is the go-to it's got everything you need basically to tear your bike apart. It was a lot of fun. I love I love seeing new things and adventuring around. It's very intense. Actually, after such a long time, you, you start to get mentally a little worn out from it. Just from everything's new, everything's like, it's action all the time kind of thing. Hey guys, it's the day after yesterday and I'm here in, well, that's the million dollar question, isn't it? Where the hell am I? So I'm actually uh, lost in the middle of the woods right now. I'm either in Poland, Belarus, or Lithuania, so can't be that bad. Hey, what's going on guys? It's August 30th, the 61st day of my trip, and I'm here in Tartu, Estonia. Overseas, everything takes more time. So like, no matter what you're doing, it just takes a little bit longer because there's like the language barrier and um, just like, cultural differences, so like when I go to the supermarket, it takes me longer to get food because I don't know what I'm buying. The most action was definitely Mongolia. Um, a lot of stuff happened there. The, the roads aren't paved in a lot of areas. You got a lot of sand, You're dragging your bike, just walking for days. Hey, what's going on guys? I'm here in the Mongolian desert. That's where we are. I don't know, there's so much you take out of an experience like this. Like, the things I realized about myself and uh, the world, just when I'm riding. Hey guys, day 184, I'm here in Vancouver, just got back into Canada, super pumped. 